It's June 27 and today in Philippine history, Ladislao Diwa was born in 1863 in San Roque, Cavite. His parents were Mariano Diwa and Cecilia Nocon. Diwa studied at the Colegio de San Juan de Letran and the University of Santo Tomas where he studied law. He met Andres Bonifacio distributing propaganda material inside the university campus. He became friends with Bonifacio and boarded at his house in Tondo together with Teodoro Plata. After finishing his law studies, Diwa became became a clerk in a court in Quiapo. While a government employee, he joined and became the secretary of La Liga Filipina. After Rizal's arrest and exile, Diwa Bonifacio and Plata became convinced that an armed uprising against Spain was the only way to attain genuine reform. They founded a secret society called the Kataas and Kagalanggalangan na Katipunan ng Mga Anak ng Bayan together with a few others on July 7, 1892. When his work made him move to the court of a Juez de Paz, or Justice of the Peace in Pampanga, he helped grow the Katipunan in Bulacan, Tarlac, and Nueva Ecija. He swore in Francisco Macabulos, who would become one of the most successful Filipino generals of the Katipunan. He was eventually arrested in August 1896 in Betis, Bacolor, Pampanga, and was brought to Manila. He was imprisoned at Fort Santiago, but released in a prisoner exchange. He fled to Cavite to join the revolutionary troops of Mariano Trias. He became active in combat and was promoted to colonel. When the first Philippine Republic was organized, he was named first civil governor of Cavite. He fought the Americans with General Trias and surrendered when Aguinaldo was arrested. During the American period, Diwa was named clerk of court of the court of first instance of of Cavite. He became an educator before his retirement to his farms in Tagaytay and Mendez. Diwa married twice. His first wife was Delisa Dandan, with whom he had three children. His second wife was Honorata Cresini, with whom he had five children. His daughter Betty married Brigadier General Benito Ebuen. The Mactan Air Base was renamed in his honor. Ladislao Diwa passed away in 1930 at the age of 66. La Vanguardia published an editorial about him two days after his death. Translate it said, We wish to honor his memory. His name should be included among the anonymous soldiers who worked for the progress and freedom of their people. The humblest deeds of the founders of the Katipunan should be known and be part of our history as living examples of civility and self-sacrifice. Whatever freedoms we enjoy today were bought for us by the sacrifices of many patriots, some we know and some who drifted into oblivion unnamed. It is on us to emulate their patriotism. Adiba. Meow meow.